Hey there, no penguin here, and it is banlist season, and that means one thing. MBT has done his moron banlist tournament. And I, of course, being a wonderful and sexy duelist, I tried to get in on this action. <laughs> Yeah, thanks, oh. thanks, no penguin. I don't know if we could beat this. We do have a spellbook player in, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. No IO. <laughs> they took the IO out. <laughs> they put in the Des Des Frog, of course. Unfortunately, MBT wasn't based enough to see the genius of my deck, or maybe he was just too scared I would sweep the competition. Luckily, there was hope. For 16 of us who were rejected by MBT, I have decided to create our own Moron Banlist Tournament. The Rejected Series, Knights of the 500th Table. And this is where I shall play my deck, my Magnum Opus, the deck I literally just stole from Simo's last video. That deck. And here is the list. Now, for anyone who has watched the latest progression series at the recording of this video, Simo decided instead of going with their amazing Dino List deck, they decided to go forth and progress the series into Black Wings. And I, for one, can't really fault him. This deck is looking sexy as hell. But with that out of the way, let's get into the card by card and the concessions I had to make with the ban list in mind. So to start us off, we have two Blizzard the Far North, two Bore the Black Spear. Now this is a great card. You can special summon it off if you have any Blackwing on the field. It's great. I'm sure none of you have ever seen this card before. Double Gale the Whirlwind, Triple Kalut the Moon Shadow Damage Step. Blackwing, everyone loves this card, it's going to absolutely carry me in this tournament. Sure, the Blue Flame, one Soroka the Dawn with an additional one in this side, Triple DD Crow, two Masterpiece, the true Draco Slaying King. This is our win con, our Lord and Savior, and our husband. I cannot wait to start taking games with this card alone. And then, of course, one Ash Blossom, this would have been the Maxi, but we don't have Maxi in this tournament. Then we have one Allure of Darkness, Triple Black Whirlwind, one Book of Moon, one Dark Hole, one Heavy Storm, one MST, we don't have Pot of Grease, so we are playing Pot of Desires, one Raigeki, and we don't have Snatch Deal, but Mind Control is good enough. Then we play one Compulse, two Fiendish Chain, Triple Icarus Attack, two Summon Limit, and a Torrential Tribute. Now we have plenty of uh, continuous spells and traps to facilitate the True Draco Slaying King combo, Masterpiece will come out absolutely every single turn guaranteed, and we also have an extra deck. This is one Black Wing Dragon, one Black Wing Armored Wing, we have one Crimson Blader, one Enlightenment Paladin, Goya Guardian, Leo, Magical Android, Power Tool Dragon, Yazzie, Gaga Ga Cowboy, Easy Game, Gaia Dragon, Ice Beast, Levian Air, 103, Ragnar Zero, can't wait to pass on that, Shark Fortress. And in the side we have the makings of a Necro Valley deck. As you know, this is the best way to smoke screen into this deck. The only concession I had to make here is IO is banned here. We are not allowed to play Imperial Order, so I had to play a card just as powerful. We got the Death Frog. And with this, we are going to destroy the world. Now with that in mind, let's see how those games went. Our first match is up against Danger Exodia. They get to go first and they will do Ogopogo and whiff it. They're gonna go for Dogman and succeed. They go for Mothman and whiff it. Mothman draws one, we discard the Kalut sadly, and we go for our turn. We're gonna start with the Allure of Darkness, banishing DD Curl off the top, then going for a substitute pot of green, which they will reload, getting the Exodia piece out of hand, drawing Nessie. We will go into Blizzard, grabbing our Kalut from the Graveyard, and set three pass. We have the Icarus attack set, so it's not too big of a deal. They go for Nessie, and they succeed! But we're just gonna Icarus attack here, getting rid of the rest of them. They're enormous summon to Chinoko and Crash. We are well up on advantage at this point. We draw the Sirocco, but we really can't summon it because they don't have a monster. They draw yet another Snack and just go for damage. Fair enough. But now we can go for the Sirocco, the Dawn. No Black Whirlwind, unfortunately, but we do got the Kalut here in the damage step, but we're not going to do it just yet. 
We're just going to pass ad. It's going to become a bit of a slog fest here as they're just going to pass because they're not going to just send the Ogopogo to do nothing. We're going to go for Soroko, go for Shura, and now we're going to pass turn. They will draw off the top of the bank foot, activating it here, and not whiffing. They're going to go ahead and send a card off Ogopogo, setting the card destruction, and we'll book moon them. Then we have our turn to absolutely pop off. We're going to draw off the top a masterpiece, the Draco Slaying King. We go for 2950 and... Damage step. Game. They get to start game two, and they'll go with the Pot of Extravagance. Must be nice. Then they'll go ahead and activate the Jackalope summoning, but since they have Extravagance, they're not going to draw, and they are going to summon Bigfoot again, but realizing that they can't draw, they just decide to end the turn here. Um, I get to go Allure of Darkness, banishing one of the Shuras using our Pot of Greed. We will get Ash, though. Uh, we do have the Black Whirlwind, so we're just going to normal summon the Shura, get the Gale from the deck, Special Gale, Get this big foot down to size and attack over it. We're going to attack with Shura, activating the effect, especially summoning another Gale, but we'll just go into main phase 2 and pass turn. I think he really doesn't have that good available 7 pool. They will Ogopogo and whiff. <coughs> then they'll end their turn. My turn comes, we are going to use the Gale once more to make this a much more sizable piece. Uh, instead of attacking with Shura, we attack with the Gale, which is a bit of a mistake, but really won't matter in the long run. They will go draw another Gamma. Uh, feels bad. We will continue to go. We have exactly 100 off of lethal if we were to summon this DD Crow, so I decided to just keep it in hand and go from 1 to 100. They will draw the Danger Nessie, activate it, and whiff once more. I am so sorry, my friend, Fallen Angel Eox. I apologize. They will see this Bigfoot technically whiff once more, but this time they do at least get to get a pop off. We will attack with the Gale and Endgame. And with that, we take our round one victory. Our second round match is up against Geese Singular and their Orcist Eldritch Decklist. Uh, they get to go off because I really don't have any way of interaction during this game, um, except for the DD Grow in hand, but I'm waiting to save that for when the Eldritch goes to revive itself. They'll activate the Harkaro setting the Scarlet Sanguine. We do have the Heavy Storm, so we can't go out and force out that right now. They'll activate it, getting a Golden Ward from the graveyard, but now we can go out and get Draco Slayer Masterpiece. We are going to pop it, and this is trap resistant. They only have Nibiru in one, and they really don't draw anything, so they go ahead, set the Scarlet Sanguine effect, go ahead and try to do it, but we will Diddy Crow the Eldritch, making it so they have really nothing to go for. I make a mistake here, and I kind of shotgun the effect to destroy the set card. Really, I should have just summoned the Bora and used that, um, but Fine, it's fine. We get to go here. 29. Try to go for game, but they do have the Scarlet Sanguine. I did miss Lethal there if I had done what I said to do before. We'll just go into Yazi on main phase 2 and pass it up. They will get the Foolish Burial Goods, sending in the Crescendo, being able to add to the hand of the Gearsu, and they are off for the races. Anyone familiar with Orcus needs to knows that they only need this one card to absolutely pop off. As you can see, they're especially coming back to Nightmare. Getting the Galatinia, going ahead and shuffling it back into the deck, sending the Crescendo, going for Gearsu to get rid of our masterpiece. Then they'll go ahead and use Symbol Skills and Special Summon back to Nightmare. Attack into Yazzie to crash it, detaching along the material. Yazzie does have an effect that lets me bring out a masterpiece. Unfortunately, this is not resistant to anything. They'll end off on a Lingirso and set one at the end of the turn. I am in a very bad situation. Kalut is good here and may have made a difference if they did not have the Scarlet Sanguine set, but since they did, I couldn't really normal summon an attack for game. Speaking of which, they will go ahead and Golden Lord, send in the Crescendo. That way they will be able to, next turn, bash it and get another Surge Starter. They're going to activate the effect, bringing them up to 43, sending another Wand to the Graveyard. I really only have Shura here. Even with the boost, it would not be able to attack over it because it was getting boosted there. They go ahead and once again just bash Crescendo, get their starter off, and they are once again off for the races. Gearsu will send my monster and attack for game. Game 2, we decided to side in the Necro Valley stuff, figuring it'd be really good against the Eldritch Orcas deck. So we go ahead, Lord Darkness, activate it, and just pass turn, figuring we'll use the Black Whirlwinds on the following turn. And it seems like it pays off as it is set 3 and pass. We Black Whirlwind, Black Whirlwind, special summon the Bora, getting two searches off it, grabbing us another Gale, and a Kalut. Then we'll special summon both Gales and go for battle for 17. They will conquest the door here. Attacking it, but we do have the Kalut here, so we will Kalut over it. Attack with Gale, attack with Gale, gets them just about half life, and they go ahead and draw the Lightning Storm. Oh my god, <laughs> no! 
<laughs> so they go ahead and get the lightning storm, then use the droplets to get the discard of the nightmare. And from here, once again, they have the foolish barrier of goods, are able to get crescendo, and are absolutely off for the races. Well, the last card in their hand, and they are absolutely going to pop off here. Simple skeletons bring back the nightmare of Galatea, use their effect, shovel them back to world one, go ahead and set themselves an orchestrated return this time. That way, they could draw two off the top, which is a gamma seal plus the eldritch. They're going to go ahead into gear to send one of our cards, destroy the other one. Conquistador going to set Scarlet Sanguine, and we are in a terrible, terrible position. From here, we are going to book a moon, knowing that if we use the Regeki, they would not be able to do anything. But we're Regeki here. They will conquest the door, and it really doesn't do much because they'll just pop my field. And during the end phase, they have everything that you could ever want in the graveyard, and a Gearsu off the top just to rub it in a little bit more. So Gearsu is going to go ahead and send it. They're going to get out the Eldritch. Eldritch is going to boost himself. World Lawn is going to go ahead and special symbol skeletons. Nightmare is going to boost up the Eldritch. They're going to go into Galatea, just, it's just not great. Access Code Tucker, gain 2000, and we got 43 and 39, which is well, well, well over lethal. Huh. So, it turns out this deck isn't as great as I thought it was. I really thought we'd be able to take that. I mean, it's got Masterpiece. But, if I'm being perfectly honest, dealing with 2021-esque combo decks really is a bit above and beyond what one masterpiece is going to get us. I'm sorry, Simo. I really tried. I really, truly, truly tried. But I did end up scrubbing out after the second round. However, Guy Singular, the guy who beat me, is currently in finals to win the entire tournament. So if he does happen to win this, which in that case I will let you know in the comments, then I can claim that I would have become second copium. But with that, that is the end of the video. If you like it, please give it a like. If you want to subscribe, please do so. We post plenty more garbage videos just like this one, but also the decent deck list every now and then. But with that, this is No Penguin. Take care.